Welcome, ladies, gentlemen, and impact hitmen. I am Speed Yard, and this is Just Cause 2. We're preparing to mount a mission for the Mafia, so let's get over there and see what they've got for us. I want you to know, though, that everything I do, I do for a reason. Remember that. I hate the paparazzi. Always taking the photos of me on the bad side. And now, one snapper has snapped one too many photos of a pot-bellied friend and his mistress. I want him out of the picture, Scorpio. This mission has always bothered me. We really are just playing Hitman for the Mafia. Somebody made creepy old mafioso's BFF look bad, so he wants us to take him out, and that's a little unnerving, because, well, I'm the good guy. This sort of thing doesn't look so good on my resume. Fortunately, I do my research. That guy? Photographer? Oh, sure. Photographer to the wicked. You know how terrorist cells always have somebody to videotape their threats to the world from inside their cozy little caves? That guy. Him. So it's totally okay to just blow this guy away. You might be thinking, Speed Yard, what are you doing? You're following the guy onto the highway. You're going to, I mean, how many people are going to die? Normally, you would be right. But you gotta remember, this is Pan Am. If we go on the highway, yes, more people will die. But, given that this country is so evil and corrupt, it will actually increase the total amount of vengeance and justice that will be dealt out in total. But like I said, I think these things through. All that's left is to give this man his just desserts. Well now, that went well. Those guys, we can let them live. They only joined the forces of evil because they have 12 sick children to feed. Each. This is a good time to note that, should you notice me sparing the lives of those who oppose us, it is either out of mercy for their desperation or contempt for their total incompetence. Ah, you have done the world a favor, friend. I'm sure I have. Oh wait, he was a terrorist. Yes, I have. Chalk one to the good guys. Very well then. There's still more chaos to be caused before he can advance the story. So let's see what the roaches have for us. The Great Revolution calls for a hero who knows how to use a gun and explosives. I want you to teach the government a lesson in rough love. I know this is a great talent of yours, comrade. Ma'am, if that ain't so, you're a capitalist. Well, that's refreshingly straightforward. There's our mission. Go in, kill things, blow stuff up. Good job. I like that. Who'd ever have thought a communist would have a good idea? Also, that was not mercy just then. That guy's really gonna get it for letting me just drive on in. Thirty years scrubbing toilets after the court-martial ought to help him build some character. Few things please me so greatly as making a good entrance. It is actually possible to just dive straight down one of these shafts, and when you can pull it off, it looks really cool. Most of the time, you're just going to bash your head into the side of something, and it's really going to look pretty bad. Yeah. Aha! Another astronaut. The bottom of these biofuel shafts are really the only place you'll ever find them in the game. You want to get out quickly when that countdown starts, but it pays to take the time to aim for a good shot with your grappling hook. Otherwise, you'll end up fumbling around and your stylish getaway will be ruined. Stylish getaway? Okay. Cinematic pose? Check. Ah, oh, Scorpio. My hero. The people of Banau will raise statues in your honor. The helicopter's fine for me, thanks. Sometimes that lady gets a little too excited. It must be all the Marxism getting to her head. 
Well, as soon as I clean up things around here a bit, we can go meet the Ular boys and see what they want us to do. I'll see you there. We have been stealing government diesel for some time. I need you to help us find out how much they know about it. Go to each of their research checkpoints, said Adu, and download the info off their computers. This is a good opportunity to talk about the vehicles. Every vehicle, car, plane, boat in Panau is different. They have different top speeds, acceleration, traction, handling. Every vehicle plays differently and it's very impressive. It compels you to prioritize, to choose one vehicle over another. Now, Scorpio, you are getting close. It makes you want to swap out when you see something faster passing you on the road or resting in the driveway of some corrupt official's mansion. You're probably thinking, Speed Yard! These are just simple workers! How can you kill them? Well, somebody has to build the things that lets evil do its work, which means they're all in on it. Alright, let's check Facebook, and then download the intel, that too. You, stay put! We're done here and look! A battle buggy! Let us mount it and go forth! Onward, battle buggy! For the glory of our cause and the ruin of our enemies! Do you hear that? That is the sound which heralds doom for the unrighteous! Yea, verily, they tremble in their boots at the very sound of our approach! Don't ever put yourself down, Battle Buggy. You did well. You had a good run. To be honest, I'm glad we're away from the Battle Buggy now. He was intense! Okay, move in! We got him! <laughs> they got me. You can be the judge of who's got who. Okay, update Twitter and download Intel. Logging in. Yes, unfortunately, if you get shot at while you're trying to hack into a computer, you lose your progress and you have to kill the guy. You! Didn't you hear the part about me having to kill the guy? Was the visual example not clear enough? Point blank range. Can't hit a thing. Take a seat till I'm done. I love how they get out of their vehicle to shoot at you and then just leave it there, with the keys inside. That's great. But this is an opportunity to recap what I was saying about the vehicles. Notice that that hot rod, the battle buggy, and this jeep all handle very differently. It's also worth noting that the terrain you're on actually affects how the vehicle handles. Notice that the hot rod could control on the roads very well. The battle buggy just went all over the place. That's a product of it just being a very sad little vehicle. Don't tell it that. The Jeep slipped around on the grass a pretty good bit, but still managed to get good traction and handle pretty well. Details like this are very impressive and add just a tremendous degree of polish to the game. It makes you want to seek out different vehicles just so you can play with them. And that's brilliant! It won't be long now, just a few short seconds and we'll be done. Now you see him. You now you Scorpio. don't. You behave like a true Eula. Blech! Complimented by a racist. Leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Well, in any case, it won't be long now. Soon the chaos will come to a boil. And the next mission will be unlocked. I will see you there.